Being a gymnast requires the full use of your body, but what if you don't have that option? Tonight, Lily Zhao goes beyond the game with one Muskego senior who has overcome some big odds. Muskego's Therese Machan makes these floor routines look effortless. But there's a catch. Michonne, a senior on the Franklin Co-op Gymnastics team, performs without the full use of her arms. I think it's cool that I've kind of found my own way to do things without my arms because that's not something a lot of people could do. During the summer leading up to her eighth grade year, my elbows started to hurt like pretty bad. Michon was diagnosed with OCD, otherwise known as osteochondritis dissecans, a joint and bone condition that affected her elbows. Oh, I was really sad. I definitely went home and cried. And I had to go in and tell my whole club team and their, my coach and like it's just like hard to believe because like my whole life is just gymnastics like I didn't know like what else there was. Michonne ended up getting three total surgeries on her elbows. They told me I wouldn't be able to do gymnastics anymore and so then when we originally said like oh what well, she's gonna do in high school without her arms they're like well if you can make that work I guess so. Stopping gymnastics wasn't an option. She's been in the sport all her life with her two older sisters and younger brother. So Michonne turned from club to high school gymnastics and took on the challenge of coming back. I got started on the tumble track because it's a lot safer and just messing around with a bunch of different passes eventually got to a set point. Because she cannot bear weight on her arms, her only events are floor and beam. After an adjustment period, Michonne was able to switch up parts of her routines to make it possible for her to compete. On um, floor, most girls start as a round off, so it's basically like a cartwheel of two feet almost, and some even do a back handspring. But I cannot do either of those skills, so I do, it's like a round off with no hands. And on the balance beam. Now I can do a handstand, that's like the most I can do, so I do a handstand into a backflip. Through it all, her resilience has been inspiring. It's just been fun to watch her find ways to succeed and to overcome what could be a career ending injury in gymnastics for sure. Despite the challenges, Michonne has done more than succeed, qualifying for state her first two years with the team, and this season she made state for beam. I think it's so cool that I'm able to do it this way and still get the same scores. Overcoming the odds, one flip at a time. I definitely impressed myself. Like, I didn't think I'd be able to come this far, so it's just like cool to see that. In Franklin, Lily Zhao, Fox 6 Sports. Hmm, incredible story.